I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes, and I hope you're all doing well today. I came across this Robert Kirkman interview by Milton Greep of ICV2.com today, and I wanted to give my thoughts on what he has to say about the state of the comics industry. Mr. Kirkman is the most successful indie comic writer in the business today. With the enormous popularity of the Walking Dead series on television and at Image Comics, where he's also the chief operating officer. He's also currently writing Oblivion Song and Die, 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 as well as several other projects. Let's get right to the interview and I'll give my thoughts after each question and answer. ICV2, you're an Image Comics partner and one of the best-selling writers in both the comics and book channels. What are your views on the current state of the business? Robert Kirkman. I don't ever want to be adding to the chorus of doom and gloom. I think that the comic book industry has suffered from the overall air of, oh, things aren't going well. Everything's going to the toilet. What are we doing? That seems to be something where there's think pieces on all these news sites. Creators get together and bitch about things. That's all fun and everything, but overall, I take a pretty positive view of things. I think there are still opportunities, and there's obviously bright spots where sales spike up. And you see people doing something right and getting rewarded for it. I like that, because I think it would be hard to deny that we're not currently in a down period. I'm only going to talk about the first part of his answer here. Here he acknowledges that the industry is in a down period, and that he hears other creators acknowledging it as well. Kind of interesting, since you see so many comics creators vehemently deny anything is wrong with the industry on social media. He's taking a positive approach, and believes things will bounce back soon enough. I'm a bit of a skeptic and believe sales will bottom out much harder in 2019 than either 2017 or 18. I predict there will be double-digit declines in both units and dollars sold in 2019. I think a good portion of retailers are going to stop buying books they can't sell to reach variant quotas, as well as only order sell-through numbers on most books outside of the titles that really move units. Marvel, DC, and other publishers are releasing so many number one issues retailers can hardly project what will sell these days. Compound that with the overpriced number one issues and ordering is a huge gamble for LCSs. I think many retailers are going to be much more cautious with their ordering moving forward due to the predatory publishing tactics of Marvel and to a lesser degree DC. And we'll move on to the next question. ICV2. That's basically the question we ask when we're talking about the overall market. Do you think this is a cyclical change or a secular one? It sounds like you're in the first camp. Robert Kirkman. Yes, it's something that happened many, many times before. Also, I could sit back and say, this might be a little controversial. You're recording this, aren't you? I feel like a lot of the complaints come from people not recognizing their age and not recognizing the fact that over time, we're going to lose touch with what it is that is at the core of this industry. I've been doing this for almost 20 years now. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting up there. It's very easy for me to go, there are less books being published now that are exciting me, and therefore that is a problem. You have to recognize it as we get to this advanced age that the industry is not necessarily going to be catering to my taste. And that's absolutely fine. And the way things should be. So when you hear the complaints, sometimes it's like, that's just old manism. That guy needs to calm down. If there's less comics for them, then that's good because there's fewer of him. I try to be mindful of that as much as I can. Okay, at first I thought he was saying some of the older creators were losing touch with their market. But then I realize he's talking about the customers here. Considering the core of the comics buying market are in their 30s and 40s, it's a pretty odd statement. Now I want to address the specific quote, if there's less comics for them, talking about older, mostly male customers, then that's good, because there are fewer of him. Is he trying to insinuate that male comic book fans in their 30s and 40s are dying off? This is a ridiculous statement. The market is shrinking because customers are leaving in droves due to the poor writing and woke SJW writers cramming their stupid politics onto characters and into books where they don't belong. Who does he think they're marketing to with overpriced issues and a billion variant covers? The only reason these predatory tactics exist is to collector and speculator markets, which are almost all older male customers. Current comic books are priced out of the range of preteen and teen audiences. Most readers in their 20s and early 30s don't consume entertainment the same way as their current core audience, but you don't see much change from the comic industry in marketing and distribution. They still market and release their books the same way they did 20 years ago, except now there are digital options. Digital sales numbers peaked and flattened out five years ago and have experienced almost zero growth since. There's also been no innovation in distribution from Diamond in a very long time, 
And why should they innovate? Marvel basically created a monopoly for them years ago. They can ignore the wants and needs of retailers and their customers with virtually no repercussions. And now let's read the final question. ICV2. We were talking about how you keep your comic series running rather than starting with the new first issue every time you start a new arc. Circling back to the macro discussion for a second, do you think there's any correlation between the huge number of number ones we have out there and the fact that sales are a little soft right now? Robert Kirkman. Yeah, I think it does get to a point where it's a little overwhelming. I'm talking to young creators starting off in the business. The reason I usually bring this up is because I feel like this is something I even did wrong. When you start catching a little bit of heat and you've written a comic book, then you start writing another comic. And then you start another comic. You're bringing that audience with you from series to series. That's how a new writer or new artist is going to build an audience. And I'm going to move on further into the interview. The glut in the market with us publishing so many books is driving people to buy less and less comics. If I'm an Avengers fan and it's impossible for me to read every Avengers book, well, then I'm only going to read the one or two that I really love. If there's only three or four, I might buy all three or four just because I love knowing that I have explored every corner of the world and I'm getting every inch of that story. Now here, I agree wholeheartedly. There are more than a few characters that are oversaturated in the market. The amount of Spider-Man and Batman books is overwhelming. Throw in the event and the comic team-ups and it's nearly impossible to follow along. A week or so ago, a retailer that goes by the handle at Comic Perch on Twitter broke down some prices for Marvel events in April. You read that correct. It will cost you $47.98 plus tax to collect all the War of the Realms books just in April. And if you want to read month three of the Age of X-Men event, that will cost you $31.92. These prices and release numbers are absolutely nuts and completely unsustainable in my opinion. Add to this the plethora of overpriced number one issues being released, with Marvel being the prime culprit, and you have a bubble that's absolutely ready to burst. Retailers can't afford to keep gambling on most of these events and titles. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on the Robert Kirkman interview. To say the least, I'm a bit more skeptical about the outlook of comic sales, especially in 2019. I predict that there will be double-digit decreases in both units and dollars sold. I also believe the current restructure at DC is only the first domino to fall. Marvel will soon follow as well, especially if Captain Marvel falters at the box office. I also believe his thoughts that it's good to have less comic books that appeal to the audience that is almost single-handedly keeping the industry afloat is both short-sighted and a bit naive especially for the COO of the third largest comic publisher in North America. Now there's a lot more to the interview, especially about his comic series Oblivion Song. I read Oblivion Song and it's pretty fun. I also read his series Die, 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 which is a crazy satire of current politics and society with a healthy dose of over-the-top violence. I definitely recommend that series as well. I've linked the interview with icv2.com as well as three reviews of the Die, Die, Die series by Ashlon Comics in the video description below. Of course, these are my opinions. What do you have to say? Does Robert Kirkman have it all right? All wrong? What about my opinions? Please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.